What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Chris Jones, another King Kennels, man. Uh, ending my work day. Uh, tired, need a haircut, need a shave. But um, I got a message on Facebook today asking about um, how can they do raw food themselves, uh, you know, to get stuff around their way and, you know, get it at their cost. Um, one of the simplest recipes that I can give you guys. Um, just say, for instance, you're going to Walmart to get your supplies. You go to Walmart, get a, a 10 pound bag of quarter legs, uh, get some calf liver, uh, get some, uh, they have a, a pack of uh, chicken hearts and gizzards, I think, at Walmart. Um, and uh, from time to time, you're able to find. Uh, uh, beef kidney at Walmart. I know at least my Walmart here in VA you can find that. Um, but uh, to be honest with you, it's going to take more than one store. Walmart doesn't carry everything. So, you know, I would use, uh, I would try to find international store, uh, oriental store, Spanish store, international store in your, your local area. Um, by by doing that, um, you know you, you open yourself up to a little more options. Um, so the recipe that I'm going to give you guys is, is real simple. Um, Walmart, first stop Walmart, 10 pound bag of quarter legs and calf liver, calf liver, beef calf liver from Walmart, and then go to uh, your international store, or go to your one of your stores that uh, have fresh fish, and then get a uh, mackerel or sardines. Do not clean them. Uh, keep the scales on, heads on, and guts in. Um, and get some kidney. Get some beef kidney. Um, and pick up some uh, chicken hearts and chicken gizzards. You know, and that's you know that's a good starting place and a good meal for your dogs. It's it's, it's pretty balanced. Um, the quarter legs has bone in it. Um, if you do the kidney. You know that's your your organ. If you when you do the liver, that's your organ. Um, the chicken gizzards and chicken hearts—they're not organs; those are muscle meats. Um, so you have your muscle meats, you have your muscle, your dark muscle meat with the quarter legs with bone in, and you have your organs with the beef, uh, liver, and, and kidney. You know, and uh, give your dogs the muscle meat and the quarter legs every single day. And give your dog pieces of uh, kidney and uh, and liver every other day. Um, liver give more liver than kidney. Now um, the amount of, of liver you should get should be at a you know for a 60 pound dog, 50 60 pound dog should be able to fit you know just in the palm of your hand. You know not much you know at all just in the palm of your hand. Um, that's enough organ meats for them for their daily dose. Doing that two, three times a week, that's enough for them for the week. Um, I also said uh, mackerel, sardines. Um, you know, you can get those, a lot of times you get those from the international stores. Um, you know, chop those up and give them to your dog if your dog doesn't eat them whole. And you have a you have a good balanced meal. You know you have your chicken, which your bone in. You have your organ, which the beef, uh, kidney and liver. You have your muscle meats with the chicken hearts and gizzards. And then you have your extra supplement. You know what I call it extra supplement with your fish, but your fish also gives you, you know, your bone, your organ, your meat, your muscle meat. You know, so it's pretty balanced. Um, that's one of the cheapest and easy ways. I can tell you guys to go about doing, you know, raw food for your dogs. I have some more uh, recipes coming up. As you can see, I'm dog tired, man. Ready to go home, eat some dinner, hang out with my baby for a little bit, my wife for a little bit, and play with my doggies a little bit, then go on to bed, man. You know, it's the beginning of a work week. Um, it's going to be one crazy one this week. But, hey, I like it. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm coming back uh, with part two of my other video, you know, how much you should feed your dogs when you're feeding raw, and uh, what you should feed them, you know, in my opinion. 
Um, and, you know, that's about it, yeah. If y'all need any fillers, man, uh, good fillers for your dogs is rice and uh, oatmeal. Great fillers for your dogs. Uh, get the old-fashioned, slow-cooked oatmeal. And uh, get some parboiled rice. Parboiled rice. Everybody say brown rice or whatnot. Brown rice, white rice, long grain, parboiled. It ain't no real difference, you know, in my opinion. It's no real difference. I go with parboiled, you know, because uh, I just like parboiled rice for my dogs, man. That's a filler when I do use it. Um, extra supplements. Anytime you use your veggies or any fruit, puree it up, put it in a blender, and make it mush. You know, the, the mushier you can make it, the better your dogs will absorb it into their system. Um, I'm trying to remember everything right now, guys. I'm, I'm going to read through your messages again, uh, write down some notes, and uh, I'll be back at you guys either later on or tomorrow with another video on um, some cheap and easy ways to do uh, raw food yourself. You know, it's not always about making money. You gold diggers out there, it's about helping people accomplish what they want out of their dogs man especially when it comes to this feeding um, also a good protein source for dogs feeding raw um, a lot of people say they just want meat but also add some black beans or some kidney beans man I'm trying to tell you black beans and kidney beans do some wonders for some dogs some wonders for some dogs you know my dogs get beans uh, three times a week man uh, it's just because the protein in the beans man is also great fiber um, but yeah I got some more tricks man I got some stuff to teach you guys um, to the guys who you know get their food from me salute you know I got some more stuff made up I know y'all like the new mixes they not new mixes they my old mixes it's just done with my new grinder um, but other than that uh, it's your boy Chris Jones Novocaine Kennels I'm tired it's time for me to get off go home I'm out